guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 for the 17th day of our series unleash your authentic divine feminine self i hope you're doing well today and 17 you are on the right path and if you are new to the series then you can check out the videos that i've done they're all in the playlist section and uh yesterday we had a powerful message that was coming through about honoring the divine masculine and that's like the divine masculine energy within you as a divine feminine and also for the divine masculine to honor the divine the divine self as well and you know and the message that i got as well afterwards after i done the video as i did it yesterday was that there are divine masculines that will be guided to that video so that they can get the messages that they need to get at the time that they'll be ready to hear those messages as well that's why i was guided to do the video that way this message only came afterwards as well so you know it is out there and the divine masculines who are meant to watch it will get will get to be shown this video at the time that they are meant to watch it and you know it's also powerful that that card is in this deck you know that i was guided to use for this series because the angels are saying it's really important to know that you know when you are working on yourself working to get to know your true self as well as a divine feminine, it is important for you to get to be in the place of being balanced when it comes to both your masculine and feminine energy. And, you know, and and it is part of you getting to know your true self as well. So, you know, so that's why this card was in there. But it's also important to know that you know, your divine masculine as well is working towards becoming more balanced in themselves as well, in their own energies as well. And as you, you both balance your energies, finding that place of that inner union as well, working on your inner world, then, you know, you get to a place where your energies themselves actually get to be more balanced. And that's what helps to bring you into union as well. So, you know, you're both working towards this as well. So really powerful that that card was in there. So we are going to carry on to see what messages are coming through so thank you angels what are we looking at today and then uh the divine feminine oracle thank you angels what messages are coming through from this deck okay so let's see what we have here today wow we've got vulnerability so really beautiful you can see there is that um sort of like a divine masculine um a mermaid carrying the other uh, the divine feminine mermaid there and it says open your heart allow yourself to be tender so this is really beautiful you know and i really feel that you know this really has more of that sort of twin flame energy in it as well and this is about you opening your heart you know realizing that you know vulnerability is not a weakness but it is actually a strength and you know and it says open your heart and for the divine feminine you know obviously having gone through so many experiences in your life even with your divine masculine sometimes you get to close your you know put barriers around your heart because you know there's that fear of being hurt again and you know and just being like i don't need this in my life you know i've been hurt before i don't need to have this hurt again and put barriers in, in on your around your heart it's more like the queen of swords energy but the angels are saying it's about opening your heart you know because what we are learning as we are growing on our path as well on our spiritual path and moving forward it's about you know opening your heart because the more how open your heart is the more you can share that unconditional love the more you can you know truly open up to unconditional love and to your true self as well so it's about opening your heart and, you know, opening your heart, healing, whatever the pain that you may have gone through, whether it's with your divine masculine or, you know, in other relationships before, it is about healing all that. And then, you know, calling in the angels to help you to heal the pain and the things that you may have gone through so that you can be able to open your heart to love because love is the most beautiful um, thing there is on the universe. And it's about you opening your heart to that love. So that's the message that is coming through and if it's for the divine masculines it's about opening the heart to love with the divine feminine as well you know to really be in the place of opening your heart because as you open your heart that's when you can truly experience what love truly is you know the things that have happened in the past it's been about love but not being and not truly for all of us not truly understanding what love really is but now we are learning about unconditional love we're learning what love really is and all those experiences that happened before 
they were building us up to this point where we have to release all that pain that happened before. We have to release all those things that happened before, leave them in the past where they belong because, you know, they, they are done. We are living in this present moment. And now we are starting to learn what true love is, what unconditional love is. And it's about now opening our hearts to unconditional love. And because you've learned all those things all this time, you know, um, with the experiences that you've had, now you are seeing that this love that you are learning is just absolutely beautiful love and you're learning to do love from a completely different place so you know right now it is about working on opening your heart open your heart to love because you know we are here as um beings of 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 love you know and we are here to love we are here to learn love and we are here to be able to teach others as well about love especially as twin flames you know we are learning unconditional love right now on this journey as you go through through separation it happens so that you learn what unconditional love is and you open your heart to unconditional love and as you do that you can be able to teach others as an example or even actually work with others as well to teach them how to open their hearts to love and you know and you know when you open your heart and you really you are in love and you know you are in a beautiful loving relationship that's about bringing in that vulnerability and you know being able to uh discuss things that are truly going on with you being open with each other as well and knowing that that vulnerability is actually a strength being able to listen to the other person as well because your heart is open and being able to speak your truth as well within that relationship because your heart is open so really beautiful so it's allowing yourself to be tender and this is you know when in the relationship as well allowing yourself to be tender knowing that this is actually a way that you truly get to know yourself as well because when you are allowing yourself to be tender you're allowing yourself to feel the feelings that you have within the feelings of that love that you have for your divine feminine you are actually Actually getting to know yourself the fear when you are allowing yourself to be tender to feel that love that you feel in your heart for your divine masculine you know and to really sort of stand in your power and standing up for this love that you believe in you know and knowing that you know everything moves forward when it comes to love, love conquers all. And whatever obstacles may be in the way, when you stand tall when it comes to this love and believe in this love, and you are tender and, you know, you allow yourself to be tender when it comes to this love, then that is going to be what helps you to get through all those barriers. Because the more you're doing that as a divine feminine, you know, really sort of opening your heart to this love, that is helping you to keep moving forward. And as you move forward, trust in this love as well that also helps your divine masculine to trust in this in this love so the message for today is about vulnerability it is a strength you know opening up to love to unconditional love is actually something that truly helps you to connect more with your true self as well because your true self is that being of of love and the more you're opening your heart because your heart is what brings out that love the more you get to know your true self so that's the message that's coming through with that one and then the cards that came out from the um the the divine feminine oracle so beautiful cards there and it says my bago the warrior saint. So this is a saint. And it says, I am a warrior of love. And that is what you are is a divine feminine. You know, you get knocked down on, on this path with everything that happens. And you can see she's holding that sword there. You know, this is about continuing to keep moving forward. No matter what may come in your way, you get up and you keep fighting for this love because you feel that love in your heart. You know, it's like you open your heart to this love that you have for your divine masculine. And you are that warrior of love you know no matter what obstacles may be in the way you know the things that may be happening coming situations the fears whatever it is that holds you back the obstacles that you both have to get past whether it's distance when it comes to your journey or age you know different countries living in different countries whatever it may be you know you are the warrior of love because you are opening up and allowing yourself to feel that love that you that you have in your heart for your divine masculine 
and you know you are standing strong with your sword and you are continuing to fight for this love and you fight for this love by standing in your truth by speaking your truth when it comes to the way that you feel by opening your heart to this love and by you know by getting through whatever it is that may knock you down and you get up again you know you rise again like that phoenix rising from the ashes and you keep moving forward so i am a warrior of love and that is what you are as a divine feminine my devotion attracts resources and support so your devotion to this love as well is what attracts this love into your life so the more you're standing in your power believing in this love you know trusting that the things that you desire that love that you desire is coming in at the right time this is what attracts this love into your life and when it comes to all other things that you may be working on or doing in your life your desires as well you know when it comes to your uh, other areas of your life is your devotion and when you operate from a place of love your devotion to the things that you're working on that helps to attract the things that you desire so it's all about operating from love opening your heart when in everything that you are working on whether it's to do with your mission you know whether it's to do with whatever it is that you may be working on in your life or desiring to bring into your life it's about doing it from a place of love, from the place of an open heart and also being in devoted towards the things that you are wanting to bring in, having that faith that they will come in at the right time. So it's that devotion that brings in the resources and the support that you need. So when you are saying to the creator, you know, I am trusting in this love that it will come in. I have faith. That is your devotion. Faith is devotion and that faith will help to move mountains as well and be able to bring in the things that you desire. So really beautiful messages coming through today. They're all about opening the heart and operating from love. And, you know, and knowing that being vulnerable is actually a, it, it's, it's, it's a strength and, you know, and doing everything from that place of love and then being that warrior of love, continuing to stand strong and continuing to keep moving forward, trusting and having faith that all the resources that you need are coming in, that that love that you desire is coming in because you have that support from heaven, because you are operating from that place of love. And as you do that, you get to connect more with your true self as well you know you connect more with your heart you connect more with your desires because your desires comes through from from your heart and it's about you truly getting to know yourself as you operate from this place of love i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light